It is a unique look at a place that's one of a kind. Key West, a new exhibit, maps the history of the Conch Republic. And there's definitely a Tampa Key West connection. It's been a favorite spot for free spirits from <laughs> Ernest Hemingway to Jimmy Buffett. There are many songs and books written about mm -hmm. them. This Fox 13's Lloyd Sauer shows us, though, many of us here in the Tampa Bay area can trace our roots right through old Key West. <laughs> It's a place where blowing on a conch shell may be one of the least wacky things you'll see. Where growing a beard is something to do while you drink. And it's where Ybor City might have been built, if not for a twist in history that turned toward Tampa. Most Tampeños of a certain age will, will, can directly draw that line. You know, it's, it's, it's absolute, it's verifiable. So, and we, you know, my grandmother was a conch. Mario Nunez has the papers with family roots in Cuba. They came over to Key West, where my great-grandmother was born. And they might have stayed there to work in Key West cigar factories, making Key West cigars for a factory owner named Vincente, Vincente Ebor. But in 1886, there was a huge fire that swept across part of the island of Key West, burned Ebor's factory, and so destroyed all the island's tobacco for making cigars. And so Ebor decided not to rebuild there, but build a larger factory here. So in those old Tampa photos, the cigar workers may have brought with them some flavor. From conch fritters to cafe con leche, Tampa's connections to Key West are like the branches of a family tree. And some of the branches ran through the streets of old Key West. Key West was definitely larger than Tampa, much more important than Tampa until 1890. The new exhibit at the Tampa Bay History Center is called Key West and the Keys, mapping the history of the Conch Republic. There are definitely were pirates in, in the Florida Keys. And some say their spirit never left Key West, where tourism eventually replaced cigars, but where Duval Street will be remembered as a stop on the way for the cigar workers who brought a flavor of the Keys to Tampa. They worked hard, but they played hard too. In Ybor City, closer to Key West than you might think. Lloyd Sowers, Fox 13 News. And one more connection here. Much of the sponge industry was once in Key West before it moved to Tarpon Springs.